One of the biggest problems of cellists in general, managing the bowing while shifting position. Dmitry Yablonsky, one of our master teachers, treats this topic during uh, the masterclass about back cello suite number one. Let's hear what he says about it. <laughs> Wonderful. So you have all your fingers on the bow. It's, it's moving parallel. Um, wonderful. The intonation is perfect. What's missing? What do you think? The bow speed. We try to compensate always. I think it's the, the cellistic problem number one or two. We try to compensate with the bow speed when we, sh when we shift and we shouldn't. The bow speed should, should be always the same. When we do the shifts, of course, maybe we should release the thumb pressure of the bow to hide the, the noise, the extra noise. Yeah. Yeah. Because the sound is still there. When you're driving a stick shift car, when you, when you shift, I think I told you before, when you shift from the yeah. first, second gear, the car is still moving, it doesn't stop. Yeah. The same thing here. So um, be careful not doing... I'm exaggerating, of course, a lot, but... Uh, it's a totally different level of, of quality I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Much better. There's another little problem that we have to solve when we play back, and that is how to give a proper sense to some particular phrasing and avoid the risk to sound, and I quote him, as a boring etude. Does it ring any bell? Let's hear that. Yeah, tell me, tell me why do you stop there? I would do the second half, a little bit more legato maybe. This is better. Nice effect. Or if you do uh, more like after the first time, this one may be a little bit separated. Something should be. Of course, I'm, big, I'm being very picky. Yeah, you play wonderful, I'm being very picky, but I like to be very picky. Make sure, be very careful, because sometimes certain things sound like a boring etude. Even the boring etude shouldn't sound like that. Yeah. Uh. Even if three, four notes, we tend to kind of let go. Yeah, go into some place. But then you have to do it with, with bow speed or...? With you can do it with bow speed, you can do it with more legato, technically speaking, uh, speaking, but... Uh, tender actually uh, a very tender movement uh, and sometimes um, it's it sounds a little bit too square well these were just two little topics that maestro Jablonski treats in his master class about back cello suite number one that you can find in our master class catalog if you click on the link you will land on this page uh, where you can find a distinction in our repertoire between masterclass courses and collection and musical jewels. And by the way, uh, if you go to the cello collections and the courses, you will find uh, three masterclasses, in particular from the great Misha Maschi. You can uh, see that here. And amongst this, there is, look at this, Back Cello Suite number two. So as we like to say, we are proud to present different visions from different teachers 
on uh, similar repertoires uh, to give you the best um, understanding of what is your playing and how to improve it. You can get a free subscription and start learning right away with a free collection of masterclasses and courses similar to the ones that you just saw or get your master membership and have access to all the repertoire, the whole catalog that we propose and it's a lot of content. See you on iClassical Academy. Thank you for watching.